a necklace. It is one of the trickier accessories to pull off, right? Because unlike other accessories, let's say a watch, a necklace, it doesn't really have any function other than to symbolize maybe you're rich. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm gonna be letting you in on the seven rules to rock that necklace effortlessly like a pro, like a superstar. And without further ado, Let's begin. Okay, rule number one, it is all about the length of your necklace. No man should ever wear a choker, right? I mean, just why? Generally, you want your necklace to lie on your chest for a comfortable fit. For men's necklace, anywhere between 55 to 65 centimeters or between 22 to 26 inches, it's a pretty good length. Moving on to rule number two, it is also about the proportion of the necklace, which is the thickness of the necklace. Generally, you don't want to wear something that is super thin. Neither do you want to wear something that is super thick. If it is too thin, it will just look super fragile and delicate and it will look like you will just break any time. And if it is super thick, like a gold chain, now you're just trying too hard to impress. Anything from two millimeters to four millimeters, it is good enough. Okay, now on to number three, because a necklace is worn in front of your chest, which is a super obvious and conspicuous place, it definitely will get noticed. And because not many men wear necklaces, people, they're gonna judge, good or bad. That is why it is better to have a meaning, have a why behind your necklace, especially if you're gonna wear a pendant. As opposed to, you know, I just wanna wear it for fun, I just wanna wear it for fashion, and of course you can, which sometimes I do. Ideally, you wanna have some kind of a significance or some kind of story behind the necklace that you wear. For example, a cross if you're like me and you believe in Jesus, or an anchor if you love the sea, you love the ocean, you love what it represents, which is stability, safety and hope or a wing if you love birds or something if you love the sky if you love freedom i don't know i just bought this for fun and i haven't really been wearing it much or maybe a little grenade if you are like kind of a little bit rebellious and you love to live life on the edge that kind of thing anyways a necklace it is a great conversation starter right so ideally you want to wear something that has a personal meaning to yourself okay moving on to number four pendant or no pendant. I mean, of course, you can wear something that has meaning to yourself, but if you don't have any affiliation, you don't have something that really speaks to you, you can easily just rock a plain and simple chain necklace without any pendant. And in this case, the necklace would just simply be for aesthetic purposes. And that is okay. Okay, moving on to rule number five, and that is matching metals. If you are wearing your necklace with other accessories like a watch or a ring, then you gotta make sure that they are of the same color or the same metal. And in this way, they are gonna look more harmonious. Okay, moving on to number six. It is all about how many necklaces can you wear? Can you stack multiple necklaces? Of course you can! But if you're just starting out, I recommend just getting comfortable with one necklace first. But you know, if you're more advanced and you wanna stack more necklaces, and to stack your necklace like a pro, go with at most two or three. And you wanna go for necklaces that is of a different length. One long and one short. You gotta make it look more intentional. And if you're gonna wear more than one necklace, then keep the necklace pendant to just one. Too many pendants would just look too distracting and too try hard. So for the other necklace, just wear a simple chain, right? And it would just look on fire. Okay, moving on to rule number seven. It is all about Knowing the occasion. Necklaces, they are casual jewelries, right? And the more necklaces you wear, the more casual, more rebellious, more edgy your look. So if you are working in a conservative office environment, probably not a super good idea to wear lots of necklaces. But if you're working in a more chill and casual environment, then you can pretty much rock any kind of necklaces. And pro tip, if you really want to wear a necklace and you don't want other people to see your necklace, then you can easily put your necklace inside of your shirt and just give other people a glimpse of it. A tease of it. Okay, last but not least, a bonus style tip for rocking a necklace is you gotta wear it with confidence. When you're gonna wear a necklace on a plain t-shirt, the necklace, it is gonna be the star of your outfit. So you gotta commit, right? You gotta chest up, shoulders back, and walk around like you own it. You gotta be proud of your necklace and you gotta rock it with confidence. And that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know yo, Evan, dope video, man. And remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all. I'll see every single one of you 
in my next video. Bam!